Hello and welcome back to Red Gaming Tech with myself Amata for yet more of your daily gaming news. Today is the 24th of November and I have some rather interesting news concerning the PS4, especially for those of you in the UK, as the UK version of the PlayStation Store has gone live before of the, re the release of the actual console in Europe and here in the UK, as of course it does not come out until next week. And well, I hate to say it as of course this directly affects me as well. The prices being displayed there are far from pretty. An image has been doing the rounds over the internet where it showcases the prices for games such as Battlefield 4 and Need for Speed Rivals. I'll put the link in the description for those of you who want to give it a bash. But I'll be covering the main points here. Each game is retailing for £62.99. Yes, I kid you not. £62.99, which equals roughly $102 in the United States. Now, considering the absolute absurdity in pricing, you have to wonder, are these actually the official prices? And also you, you have to take into consideration that these games are retailing for £47 on Amazon UK. So the real question is, what about those of us in the UK and Europe who want to download games off the PlayStation Store and play as they download? And that, well, seems to be the magic question. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is an early launch of the PS Store in the UK and EU, as of course the console's not out yet, so these prices could be placeholders. They could have just put the same price across everything just to get everything up there and then they're actually going to be modifying each individual game that's incorrect as they get closer to the launch. I'm sure they're going to be bug testing and that sort of thing. But the thing that makes me think that that might not be true is that the PlayStation Store has always been more expensive than a retail boxed copy. And just to give you an example of what I mean, although most of you who have been using PSN all this time could probably know what I'm talking about, currently on the PlayStation Store, from where I'm accessing it, Call of Duty Ghosts, for the PS3 obviously, is £49.99 for the digital version. Now on Amazon, for the boxed copy, it is £40. So that kind of gives you an idea of the kind of rise in price you can see from digital to retail box copy. It's just kind of the way a PSN has been for a while. Now, even with that in consideration, the price is absolutely ridiculous. So if we were to take that as a sort of rough guide as to the increase you can expect for PSM, if... Um, a game is retailing for £47 on Amazon for a boxed copy. If you add £9 to that, you of course get the a grand total of 56 So we're still talking a pretty large increase, even with the PSN charge in consideration. So fingers crossed that these are just placeholder prices and that this is not the price we're going to be seeing for those of us in the UK on the PlayStation Store. As to be honest, I don't think people are going to really want to pay that, no matter how much they want a digital download. They'll probably just rather order it online, go down to their lo local store, wh whatever that store happens to be, and just, you know, wait a little longer to play their game rather than shell out that much extra. At least that's what I would do, considering these are roughly equaling to $102 in the United States. You can kind of see where I'm coming from here. So hopefully Sony will clarify this soon or the we'll see the prices change as we get closer to the UK slash EU launch of the console. So we can get some clarification one way or the other. Of course, if they haven't changed by, say, I don't know, Thursday of next week, we can kind of expect that, surprisingly, these prices are actually accurate. But let's hope that that isn't the case. I would imagine that they're going to be reduced somewhat as this does seem quite the price hike even for PSN. So, fingers crossed, I guess. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.